G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. Please excuse that wind, it's just a little bit breezy today. Very sunny though, bright skies. I was just about to check the rack line uh, before going out into the rock pools. Got myself, I mean, he looks like slightly sun bleached on top, but he's got nice speckling. He's a good size. I reckon we can take this guy. It's a beautiful eroded cowrie. The water is still up just a little bit, but uh, let me just like look at what's left of the, uh, the shell pile here and then it'll be time to go out into the rock pools. Oh, he looks like nice on the bottom. Is he? Yeah, he is purple on the top. I saw the purple on the inside and I hoped he'd be purple on the top. This guy is just a little flat sand snail. They come in a bunch of different colors, uh, like white, yellow, cream, a pinky color, and very dark brown. But my favorite is purple or blue. Oh, another cowrie drying up here. This is why I like to just give it a, a good once over before uh, completely ignoring it. Okay, he looks like he looks better when I wet him. So he's obviously a tiny bit sun bleached or calcified. Anyway, this guy is a sub adult snakehead cowrie. You can tell by his shape, he hasn't flanged out on those edges yet. Oh, another goodie. Hello, I absolutely adore these. Yeah, he's nice and empty. Oh, he's got a good lip too. So uh, the last few uh, episodes, I've been micro shelling. I've been picking up little baby migrating moon snails. I'll throw one up on screen for us to see. This is the adult version of it. So this is the adult size. He doesn't have any of those nice white markings that the juvenile ones have, but gosh, he's got a nice white swirl. He's got lovely brown. He's got lovely white on the back. I think he's like probably one of my favorite moon snails from here. Oh, there is another cowrie just gleaming at me. I remember saying like two episodes ago, I'm sorry, it's fresh in my mind because I was editing the episodes just yesterday, that I hadn't found any clandestines in ages and now I found like, I don't know, this is the fifth one in just this week. So he can go with my little handful of minis that I'm uh, accumulating. There seems to be a lot of the larger things on the rack line, just mostly broken bits. But uh, yeah, still got some goodies. Oh, look at him. It's another migrating moon snail. <gasps> Yes, there we go. Wow, I've had so much luck with these. It's been ages since I've found one uh, before the last kind of week or so of minis. Anyway, yeah, he's got kind of like that uh, juvenile white stripe on the bottom, you know, where it kind of like has little like dot, dot, dots. And then it kind of like evens out into his adult tone without any of those little white dot, dot, dots on the top. He's very cute. He's like a sub-adult migrating moon snail. Oh my goodness, I've still got like the big one I found in my bag. This is like the third one in my hand. Yeah, another adult migrating moon snail. One, two, and a little one, three right there. Oh my good golly goodness, what happened to the population of these guys? Is there any more? Oh, I don't know about more of them, but I'll take this guy. Yeah, got myself a beautiful orange mitre. Very nice. Oh, I kid you not, smack bang in the middle. I was like, oh, where's all the pheasant shells? And then suddenly my eyes like, like it took 30 seconds finally caught onto this beautiful lamellos wendel trap what look at the ridges on this guy does he have like more ridges than usual or thicker ridges or ribbings i don't know those like those little like segments that go around him it seems like extra on this one okay you know what i'm just gonna pick up a few more from here oh look at this one i didn't even see him either hello sir this is a this is obviously quite a decent pile <laughs> this is a juvenile cowrie because it's got that point on the end up there it's obviously a juvenile arabian or juvenile eglantine cowrie all right let's see how many of these i dropped trying to pick up this guy yeah oh yeah he's empty oh he looks quite nice actually still got some of his uh periostricum on him that's that outer layer that looks a bit greeny on him uh obscuring that shiny patch right there the shiny patch doesn't have the outer layer it is a lovely little crowned cone oh it's so small everyone i know i wasn't playing the micro shell today because we've had two episodes of that oh my god he's actually whole he is a whole juvenile i think it's a purple gaia triton that would be my best guess anyway there's a couple of gaia tritons you can get from here <gasps> he's so small and cute oh for for sure i'm gonna lose him in my bag or something Thing, and you won't see him at the end of the video, but that's very cute. Oh, that one's just like waiting for us. Yep, he looks a little bit white on the top there. You know, uh, not it's not the sunshine. He's just a bit white on top. He might have been sitting there for a while. Got myself a lovely adult snakehead cowrie. Oh, I guess I'm having cowrie luck today. I just, yeah, this one just spotted a shiny boy. I mean, I don't know if he'll dry shiny, but he feels nice. Like he feels like wet glass. It is another eroded cowrie, actually. 
This one is very circular. He's got kind of a very nice shape. Um, I think he might be slightly sub-adult. He hasn't uh, thickened up on his base as much as I would have expected him to. He's very nice. I like his speckles on top. Oh my goodness, I am definitely the first person to look in the rock pools over here because that one looks whole and it looks gorgeous. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at the colors on this guy. He's got a nice point. He's a nice size. It's a banded bonnet. Wow, look at that extra lovely like orange shade through there. Okay, yep, definitely the first person to roll through here uh, since the high tide. Looks like he needs a bleach bath to get rid of some of that uh, kind of pinkish growth on there. I think it might be some type of algae. It might turn that part of the shell white after a bleach bath, but yeah, oh my, he looks very nice as well. Gosh, finding a lot of nice shells this morning. Wait, this afternoon. Wait, what What time is it anyway? You know this uh, This super old crusty boy actually caught my eye first and no, there is no way I'm going to take this guy. Even if he does look a bit like a fossil, he's staying behind. I actually want this shiny one. <gasps> wow, he slipped out of that water like there was zero friction. Ooh. Oh, he is going to be shiny when he dries. I can already tell. He feels like a good one. Got a nice kind of like light uh, orangey or is it orange? Yeah, light light brownie orange pattern on top. Sometimes they're very black and white and sometimes they have these lovely colors like this. Well, oh my, it's another bonnet, another big bonnet. Yes, I'm dead. Oh, he's, he's whole. Oh, I wasn't expecting to pull him out and have it be whole. <gasps> oh, oh, everyone, this is a nice guy. He is a checkered bonnet, uh, uh, just a different kind of bonnet than the one I picked up that was a banded bonnet. Yeah, they just got different markings and like a different kind of like shape sort of. I don't know, these guys usually don't get very big. So this is actually quite a large one for the species. Or maybe I just find small ones. Anyway, wow, he is beautiful. Okay, okay, I'm definitely having lots of luck today. So for those of you wondering about the differences, the banded bonnets have more of a, like a tartan pattern about them. You know, think like Scottish kilts, I guess. And they've got all these like crowned nodules around their shoulders. And the, uh, the checkered bonnets don't have that. They're nice and smooth. And they've obviously got uh, a checkerboard pattern. So yep, that's the difference between the two uh, most common bonnets we find here. I've got my eyes on it. I don't want to lose it under the ripply water, this guy. <gasps> oh my God. This is like literally like the checkered bonnet was right there. I've literally only taken two steps. Wow. Oh my goodness, he feels shiny. He's gonna be another shiny one. I've been finding a, a few of these lately. It's a beautiful yellow tinted cowrie. Oh, oh my goodness, the spots on this guy are absolutely lovely. Oh, okay, yeah, just very lucky today, I guess. Um, yeah, I got no idea why, it's just a lucky day. <laughs> Ooh, so when the water runs down, it eddies right into uh, a little patch of sea sponge there. I see a cowrie. Can you believe it? There's a cowrie stuck in there. The base of it looks like a cat cowrie. I'm having like cowrie luck, so I'm like, I'm hopeful that this is gonna be a good one. It's a, uh, oh, oh, it's not bad. I don't think it's gonna be a shiny one. He's missing his speckles on top, but I won't say no to that. There we go, got myself a little cat cowrie right there. Very, very cute. Oh my goodness, finding all the good things today. Oh, I am standing in the like temporary, not danger zone, but it's gonna be like pretty dangerous once the waves come back. Anyway, this guy kind of caught my eye. Doesn't he look wonderful? I believe this one is an orange cockle shell. It's uh, very similar to the prickly cockles that the US shell is find. When I popped down over the ledge to stand here, I did not see that guy. He's huge. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he feels nice, everyone. I was kind of like looking at that thinking, oh, the bottom looks shiny enough. I thought it was gonna be absolutely ruined on top. Like, oh my goodness, I thought it was gonna be terrible. It's beautiful. If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you know how much I love eroded calories and this is just a particularly nice one. Uh, so after that nice orange cockle, it's very hard to film in here because you see something and you wanna grab it before the whitewash sends it away again. Uh, I managed to pick up another snake head. It's very nice. I got myself another little migrating moon snail and another wind trap yeah just once again i usually don't have so much back-to-back -back luck but today i'm having you know all of it i think i'm using like five years worth of luck today Ooh, before the wave comes that one is that a that's not a rock is it let's take a look Ooh, okay yep up 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 very nice i have been a little bit lucky with these although <laughs> i tried to grab one out of a rock pool the other day and uh 
I ended up getting my undies soaked and I didn't end up getting the calorie, so I feel like this is like making up for that. It is a lovely carnelian calorie, also called a cherry calorie. He doesn't feel super smooth on top, so he's probably not a glossy one, but gosh, he's got a nice color, doesn't he? Lovely purple teeth as well, which is, which is how you usually know they're a cherry. Are you unbroken? Actually, it does look a little bit broken. No, he's still pretty good though. Uh, yeah, I just saw him because he's obviously quite red on the backside. It is a commercial scallop. That guy is very clearly broken, but oh, the side. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that is such a shame because he's so pretty on top, everyone. That is another lovely yellow tinted cowrie. What an absolute shame about that break there. I think his base was probably a little bit weak because he's slightly sub-adult. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to keep him anyway. He looks very nice. If you'll excuse that wind again, it's actually not that bad over here. I was fully expecting it to be full of sea foam. <laughs> here we go. I don't think anyone's checked it after the low tide or after the, uh, the high tide rather. Got myself another little cherry cowrie. Might find myself a few more goodies before the uh, water starts to come back in. Oh, can I grab that? Nice zigzag clam looking guy. Are you like... Oh, I got it. I got it. I thought that was stuck forever. Wow, the sand is like so hard. It's nearly a rock in there. Actually, it feels kind of like, no, no, it's fine, I guess. Anyway, got myself. Um, you know what? I'm not sure if that's a leafy oyster or something else. It could be the coxcomb oyster, which is like a same, same, but different pretty much. Anyway, yeah, very nice. Ooh, sitting right there. Ciao. Uh, I was going to check if there's a crab in it. Um, I didn't really see it with a whitewash, but I think it's clear. Oh, how about that? Got myself a lovely looking Spangler's trumpet this time. Getting all the big shells, really. Well, I mean, except for the big, big cowries. Well, I just met up with a friend and a wave distracted her as she was probably about to step up and find this. Oh my goodness, what a cute little guy. He's got so many like little broken pieces on him. I should ask, I should ask if she wants this one. I did kind of like fill in the gap that she just left. It is a little baby magnificent volute. The waves are getting very big, even though we are at low tide. Please tell me you are whole. Ooh, uh, <laughs> not at all. What about the calorie next to him? How are you? You are, ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, don't slip. <laughs> I'm alive. Here we go. Got myself a very faded. I say faded because these guys are usually a pink or a purple. So he's like faded to a yellowy orange. Very faded Limousina cowrie, also called the slug-like cowrie or the file cowrie. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Well, I don't know what to say everyone. I found shells on the shore and then kind of the rock pools around where I found those mini shells, but not really anywhere else in the rock pools. It was kind of a, a bit of a dud for the other parts of the beach. But anyway, oh my goodness, look what I actually did find. I am very, very happy with these shells. And now it's time to talk about a favorite. So if you have a favorite as well, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, you know what, special mentions as always, I found a very nice snakehead cowrie. Uh, <laughs> just destroy everything. <laughs> the rest of the snakehead cowries were starting to cloud a little bit on top with calcification but this one is the only truly lovely glossy one I found today lovely goldeny orangey browny color on top I think he's lovely so he gets a special mention also a special mention for the big Wendell trap and the little one too this one's just got lovely ridges on it I thought that was kind of nice and of course one two three four five migrating moon snails but sorry the of course was this guy because I didn't actually lose it Got myself a little uh, juvenile purple Gaia Triton right there. He is just wonderful. Actually, you know what? I really want to give special mentions to so many more shells today. But anyway, let's slide on right along to a favorite. I mean, I think I've got two or three favorites, but two of them are kind of like eroded calories. I did actually find this eroded calorie off camera. I thought it was going to be terrible. I picked it up and it was kind of shiny. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's just one for me now. He might just be another special mention, but onto the favorites. Okay, two favorites. The first is this big, beautiful eroded cowrie. I know I'm such a simp for eroded cowries. I could, I could just like simply fall apart over eroded cowries for, for way too long. Love that one. And uh, one of these two, 
does have a hole in the base and for, for a second I thought it was this one and this one's shine is so hecking nice that is a true gem I thought oh that's got the hole in it no the less the slightly less shiny one's got the hole in the bottom of it this one oh, this one's gorgeous look at how freaking shiny it is this one is like a true gem oh my good golly goodness this one is my top favorite for the day and enough rambling that's it for this time everyone thank you so much for watching bye guys